Oh, it's so cheesy. You can see it gushing out of the side. What is up, my beautiful Marmars, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna make a giant nacho volcano. All right, guys, time to make some taco meat. First, you wanna spray your pan to get it not sticky and stuff. Then you put your ground beef in there and push it all around like this. Just literally move it all around. There's no specific technique. Just let it simmer and cook like this. Oh, yeah, move it all around. It's gonna start to go brown. That's when you know it's cooking. You wanna drain it out. Now you have all the meat right here. Then you wanna get your taco seed seasoning put it on top if you don't have any taco seasoning get some like peppers some spices some paprika ask your mama for some cumin or something she can help you out and find some taco seasoning spices cover this bad boy up let those flavors get all in there yeah and then you want to go ahead and just get ready to make your nacho volcano all right guys to make your nacho volcano happen you're gonna need a few things like chips and some nacho cheese and a bucket what a bucket? Yeah, I guess, yeah, you're gonna also need a bucket. And um, if you like jalapenos and more cheese. All right, so now that I have everything in front of me, I have my ground beef, I have some chips right here. I'm gonna get this like middle part out of a bun stick and cover the top with foil. I'm gonna stick that into my bucket like this. So that's gonna create the, the hole in the volcano. And then I'm gonna just start, I'm gonna sprinkle just like a little bit of cheese first, just to have some cheese there. Oh, I also have some spray here, and I'm gonna spray the sides so my nachos don't get stuck to anything. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and get my chips and just put them into here like this. Start putting them in here. The cheese is gonna act like our glue, so every time I put a layer of chips, I'm always gonna put more cheese. More cheese. All right, so I have some of my ground beef right here too. Remember, this is our dirt for the outside world. So I'm gonna just be only using a little bit of it, but I definitely want some ground beef inside my nachos too. Mm, it smells delicious. Then I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit more cheese on there because you can never have enough cheese. A lot of chips. And keep going. You gotta have a really strong base. So I'm just keep on adding cheese and chips to make sure that this is really well held together. I'm trying to just feel like any cracks I see with like cheese. I'm shaking it, getting it all in the edges. And then put some more cheese on top. Now our nacho volcano is pretty much assembled and we have to take it to the oven and bake it. All right guys, so I'm gonna grab my bucket of nachos right here and I'm gonna put it inside of this oven at 350 for 15 minutes. Get in there, bucket. Okay, I'll see you later nacho volcano, bye. All right guys, so I've let this rest for about 15 minutes out of the oven. It's warm still, but it's not like super hot. The cheese looks like it has now become one, gluing everything together. So now I think it's time to see our volcano. Okay, so I'm gonna pick it up like this. And I'll flip this bad boy over like so. Okay, all right. Sometimes you just need like a little hammer and you just gotta like hit like the sides of it. It's not necessary, but I like to just do it just to be Safe. Okay, let's see what our volcano looks like. <laughs> ah, it came out. Okay, so now I just gotta take off this butt cake thing right here. It's attached to the cheese. Don't be mean. I want my volcano to stay intact still. Come on. Oh, we got a few pieces on here, it's okay. I'm gonna take this foil out. How's the, my foil still stuck in there? All right, so we have the volcano right here. You can see it. Wow, this looks pretty awesome. I like this. Look, there's like a giant hole right here for all our cheese to be in. We have all our nachos held together by cheese right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some ground beef right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down there. I'm just gonna spread the ground beef out, you know, share the love of the ground beef because it's gonna be like the ground beef volcano moat right here. I'm gonna go ahead and also put some on this side right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so now we're gonna top my nacho volcano. So we have the dirt here, the nachos here. I have these dinosaurs right here. And as you can see, there's a volcano in the background. So you know this is historically correct. Um, there's a volcano right here, there's a dinosaur. All right, so we have these cool things, like some rocks and stuff, some more rocks. What the heck, this is so cool, wait. Okay, so we can put these little bad boys like right here in our ground beef. Like this one, he's like kind of roaming the top of the volcano. This one's over here in the back. I don't know this dinosaur's name. It's in my head somewhere. <laughs> I've seen these dinosaurs everywhere when I was little. Wow, there's some big ones. Like this one is gonna definitely be attacking some people, so I'm gonna put them up here. Hey, hello, stay, 
Stay, stay. Oh my gosh, wait. I didn't even see this one. This pterodactyl one. You can put him like right here, like hugging the wall. Hug it, hug it. Come on. Yes, you will. You will stay here. There you go. Ah, pterodactyl. Okay, and then I have this even more ginormous one over here. Right, right there. Okay, wait, the little one's falling in. Okay, they're about to battle. We have the T-Rex, we have the pterodactyl, they're about to fight. I'm gonna put a little baby one right there. And then uh, for no reason, let's put uh, like a little tree right there. Now it's time to add the actual toppings too. I have some jalapenos. I'm gonna give one to Mr. T-Rex over there. Um, put some more jalapenos on the side. I love jalapenos. Jalapenos are life. I'm gonna put some more on the top, on the exterior of the volcano right here. All right guys, so now it's time to actually make the volcano erupt. All right, so I've warmed up my nacho cheese. Oh my gosh, this is so much cheese. All right, and then I wanna be gentle because there's dinosaurs here still. And I'm gonna be going off the side now. I get some on the pterodactyl over there. Dude, we still got a lot of cheese here, guys. Yes, nacho volcano. Look at all the ooey gooey cheese. The core of this volcano is filled. The cheese is oozing out of it right now. All over the dinosaurs and everything. Oh my goodness. I accidentally got some cheese on the T-Rex, but it's okay. The pterodactyl. Go back on it. No. Okay, if not, I'm just gonna put the pterodactyl like this. Like it's gonna take off of the volcano. Dang, that is awesome. Alright guys, so we have my nacho volcano here. All my dinosaurs, my pterodactyl, they're loving it right now. They're enjoying all of this nacho cheese, all the ground beef, everything. But I want to see if I'm going to enjoy it. So I got to try it. It looks really good. So I grabbed the piece of nacho cheese right here. I got to make sure I get some of the ground beef right here. Come on, ground beef. Get on here. Oh, and I can't forget a jalapeno right there. Bam, jalapeno. Ha, ha. Ooh. 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 Remember that center we made? It's like a giant dipping center. See right here. <laughs> mm. This could also double as Nacho Volcano birthday cake, which is what you could also call it. But like birthday candles right here. I almost forgot. We have sour cream. So if you want, some people love their sour cream, you know? But, oh my gosh, that giant chunk just rolled off the volcano. Landslide. Nacho landslide. Alright, I'm gonna give it a little drizzle everywhere. Mmm, sour cream. It just adds a little bit of color to this. It tastes really good. Sour cream right here. Bam! Alright, I gotta try with the sour cream too. Wait. Mmm, grab this piece right here. Ooh. Ooh, it's so cheesy and beefy. I gotta try this one here. Uh -huh. Mm, mm. Okay, that is so good. It looks so beautiful. And if you love dinosaurs, if you love volcanoes, this will make you really happy too. I, don't know. I like the middle part because you can just dip unlimited dipping. Sometimes I don't have enough like cheese on a, on a chip like this. You just go ahead and dip it right in the center. Bam, nacho volcano. I don't know why we haven't made this before. I'm glad. I'm so happy we made it now. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so now that we've taste tested it and seen all of that, I actually want to see what the center of this Nacho Volcano looks like. So I'm going to just go right into it. I'm going to cut into this awesome volcano. <sighs> Let's open it. Ooh, it's so cheesy. You can see it gushing out of the side. All held together by cheese. Oh, it's super cheesy in here. And then more cheese just oozing out of the center. Wow. And then now this is where I just grab a big piece of it. Nacho Volcano. Ah. All right, guys, give this video a big thumbs up if you love dinosaurs, if you love cheese, and you love beef. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video.